What's up guys, it's Emma and Christian here and today we're really excited to talk to you about Dragon Ball Fighters with a Z. So as you may have seen on the five videos that we put up today, which we're really sorry about by the way, we attended an event at the Bandai Namco Entertainment UK headquarters where we saw games like Nino Kuni 2 and Ace Combat 7. But to be honest, we were most excited to see Dragon Ball Fighters. After the disappointing reveal that was Marvel vs Capcom Infinite, it was beginning to look like nothing would fill that 3v3 fighting game void. Then, out of nowhere, like a gift from the gods, came Dragon Ball Fighters, a 2.5D 3v3 fighting game developed by Arc System Works, the team behind Blaze Blue and Guilty Gear. Unlike most of the Dragon Ball games released over the last decade, this game is not 3D in the traditional sense. Dragon Ball Fighters moves away from the style of the Xenoverse series, instead opting for the classic Street Fighter approach of fighting on a 2D plane. As you can see from the footage we captured, the game looks stunning. It has been developed as a 2.5D game, and what we mean by this is that developers use 3D models, but the actual gameplay is based on 2D sprites. If you thought Xenoverse 2 looked good, you will think this looks amazing. Growing up watching Dragon Ball Z on Cartoon Network and Toonami, I don't think I could have ever imagined playing a game that looked just like the anime. The videos we have up don't do the game justice, though the 4K one does look pretty good if you want to check that out. It's seriously impressive. The amount of detail from the anime and manga that's been put into the animations is crazy. Check out iKevinX's video to see more, there's a link in the description below. The closest comparison to this game more than any other would have to be Marvel vs Capcom. Honestly, playing this reminded me more of MVC3 than playing the Marvel vs Capcom Infinite demo. The buttons are simple enough that anyone can work out what they are doing relatively quickly. However, that's not to say there isn't any depth to this game. We don't expect Dragon Ball Fighters to reach the complexity of a series like Guilty Gear but there should be more than enough for the hardcore audience to enjoy. Some people may be concerned that some of the characters are going to have very similar movesets, but come on, this game is being developed by Arc System Works. These guys know exactly what they're doing, and with the entire Dragon Ball cast to choose from, from Dragon Ball Z, potentially GT, and even Dragon Ball Super, we are sure there's going to be plenty of variety. As the game has only recently been revealed, very little is known about some of the finer details so far. We can only imagine there are plans for a story mode, and judging by Arc System Works track record, it shouldn't disappoint. If it sounds like we are overexcited for this game, it's because we had such a great time playing it. We never expected to see Bandai Namco come out with a game like this, let alone a Dragon Ball Z game developed by the team behind Guilty Gear. There's so much to look forward to in the coming months as they announce more information about the game. We'll be following this game closely, and if you have any interest in over the top fighting games, then you really should be too. Thanks for watching, and please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. It's because of your support that we we're able to go to this event. By continuing to support us, you're constantly opening new doors for us that allow us to cover a wider variety of games from different publishers. Again, thank you so much for your support, and we'll see you guys in the next video.